All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to jump right on into this. Today has not been a great day. Um, this is Orlando's Diary. Been kind of down today. Been really thinking about that my life is really seems like at a standstill. I've been trying to do a lot of things to to keep myself up, to keep myself going, taking it to God, praying, but depression has really set in. And it feels like, and I understand this, and a lot of people say this, and 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 if you're listening, get this, please understand that when people are going through things, regardless of whatever they're going through in their life, the number one thing that they, a lot of people do not like hearing is, oh, a lot of people have gone through that, or you're not by yourself. People have been been in your situation. Okay. Understandable that a lot of people have gone through what each one of us maybe have are going through. But when you're feeling depressed and you're feeling down, that doesn't help at all. Because my emotions and my feelings are my emotions and my feelings. And some people are going to get out of their emotion and their feelings way quicker than another person is. For whatever reason, they may just get a snap out of it quicker. And some people are battling some major demons in their minds that it takes them a while to get out of it. And to get out of, maybe get out of their own way. And a lot of times I'm feeling this way because I just feel plainly alone. Feels like, just feels like nobody understands. Yes, I understand that people have their own lives. People have their lives, that they have their family, they have their other friends and things of that nature. But it just seems like when a person's alone and they're going through something, you know, that's bringing them into a depressed state that folks should understand being alone is the worst thing. And when folks act like they get an attitude because a person is reaching out to speak to them or a person just wants to talk or something, that doesn't do anything but puts them even deeper into a spiral. And yes, I have my times where there's good times, there's great times, I feel great. And then sometimes I have my times like today, I just feel like I'm the only person in my world. Like I'm standing in a crowd of people and nobody can see me, nobody can hear me, and nobody cares how I'm feeling. And understandably, some people start looking at it as, oh, they're just trying to get attention. Oh, that person ain't feeling that bad. But then when that person turns around and God forbid takes their life, then it's always, oh, well, they knew they could have talked to me. Oh, they could have called me if they, but the person did try to talk to you. Remember, remember that the person tried to talk to you, but you were too busy. You and then you started brushing the person off like the person didn't didn't matter or you started saying that the person just wanted attention. So the person did try to reach out to you. And sometimes the person doesn't want you to reach out to them and start preaching to them. That that doesn't 100 percent work either. Sometimes the person just needs somebody to talk to just about anything. Just be there. Just listen without feeling like you're being rushed about how you're feeling. So, like I said before, Orlando's diary is basically what Orlando is going through, what I'm going through. So if it helps you find, if not, hey, that's great too. But this is my emotions. These are my feelings. So God forbid if anything were to happen to me, hey, I put it out there and I tried 
I tried. So, uh, this is going to be a quick one, but um, a couple of these songs here really touch me. One song here is by an artist named Broken Vessel Music, um, and the name of the song is called Stranger. And then I'm going to follow it up with another song by Danny Nunn, and this song is called Your Story Is Not Over. All right. sinful nature is not translation, it's not relocation, it's not rehabilitation, it's crucifixion. Romans teaches us that the sinful nature is enmity, it's hostile to God, it can't submit to his law, and it doesn't even want to. Therefore, we have an obligation. Brothers, sisters, we don't play around with it, we break up with it, otherwise, this is all we have to look forward to. Who is this guy? I'll ask you one more time Who is the spirit Who is the sky God 
God's gonna do just what He said He'll do. It's not gonna end this way. Your story is not over. See, He knows all of your sorrow. He will take away your problems and your sorrow. Father, I just say thank you. And I just let you know right now for anybody that may be listening, that may be going through any kind of depression, that just needs your help, just cry out his name, Jesus. And please, Lord, touch them, touch their lives, touch my life, Father. I need you. I need your help. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> 